basically these crates. They have 98% impervious area. They basically look like a bunch of milk crates stacked on top of each other. And the doors Our are crates. open over there so we can kind of take right. a peek in. Um, so it holds the water in there, again, 0.3 inches uh, by design. And we do not have an overflow to the storm sewer itself. So the overflow device is just, it will pond up and the tiles around that door are actually pervious pavers, another type of pervious paver. And that acts up so the water comes out and then just spreads out and there's a storm grate um, on the other side of the curve. So we're not monitoring our outflow, but we do know when the water would get to overflow point. We again have uh, flow measurement devices in there. Does that happen often? Um, how often does that happen? Hey, Kara. Yeah. How <laughs> often do you think we've had overflow for the past couple of months? Not very often at all because you can see by the person in the sewer that it doesn't really stay flat. So I think it's supposed to be my time analyzed. Maybe one or two has filled that up, and I can tell by the person in the sewer that it's probably over. It should be overflowing. Right. Well, but there are designs. Paver, it's called a Zara paver. Um, I think they're pretty, they come in different colors.